so this is like our part two slash part three of our shopping adventures when we were when Sarah was visiting me in Texas so this time we went to the Galleria in Houston and we, we shopped everywhere we went to Literally. Mac <laughs> yeah we, we really did go everywhere we went to Mac Neiman Marcus where we got like Chanel and some other brands um, then we went to Sephora and we laid it down there as well. So if you're done watching this, head over to Sarah's channel and catch up with the second half of this like epic, epic 2014. <laughs> the first in 2014. Right. There might be another one by the end year. We, end. we can't, we can't promise anything. So we both <laughs> save up for this trip. We know it has been coming and we definitely um shopped. we deserve it let's just yeah we we, <laughs> we shopped till we dropped so and it was really really fun so we're just gonna get into it and i think we're gonna start with chanel because okay, so first up we got some i already said this like 50 times that we got stuff at chanel because <laughs> i keep saying we got stuff at chanel and you guys are like get to it so i'm trying to decide <laughs> i'm trying to decide how to because we just divided up what we're going to show on whose channel. But basically, when we went to the Chanel counter, they, we were asking for a few things that we knew were going to be, like, long shots. So they told us to go over to this, like, oh, you have to walk across the street to this Dillard's. It smells. In the summer heat. In the summer heat. Across the street into oncoming traffic, basically. <laughs> that doesn't and, stop in Texas. Yeah, the, the place stunk, like water damage and old feet but listen that Dillard's had every single thing that we were looking for so I'm gonna show the two things and then we we each got other things that we're gonna talk about on Sarah's channel so make sure you go over there but the two things I was super excited about were the um gree gree eyeshadow i have yeah. been looking for this that was a last minute remembering yes i remember part. this at the last minute i had asked at the first chanel counter at neiman's and they said no we don't have it that one's discontinued and i just i basically cried because i'm like oh i missed this why didn't i get it okay so this is the shadow and it's just a gorgeous like almost like a purpley shimmery taupe um, probably so like a very dupable color, but Ooh. it's just so creamy and beautiful. And I think it's one of those easy wash shadows, you know, easy to throw on your lid. It's just beautiful. So I'm so excited that I finally found this. And it was one of those things I remembered the last minute after we asked them all these things that they randomly had from collections. Like after we had checked yeah, out. Yes, like they have been sold out forever. After we checked out, I'm like, hey, could you ch please check if you have this eyeshadow? And she was like, we actually have one more left. So boom. She made, so the one other thing that I was like, please, please, I heard Emily from Lisette's Beauty talk about this and mm -hmm. Hannah from Beauty Chats talked about this blush. It's, they said if you could only have one cream blush in your life to, to get Which this one. very dramatic to even say yeah, that. That's but. very dramatic. It is. <laughs> <laughs> we like to be dramatic though. If we're like, you know, if we could live on a deserted island and only have one thing. Deserted island? Desert it's island? Not, I eat dessert and you are surrounded, uh, stranded on a deserted island. Yeah, deserted. This okay. is the blush and inspiration, which this came out a while ago and it's been gone everywhere. I know it's gone online. So if you happen to live um, in a place where you ha maybe have a Dillard's that nobody um, frequents, <laughs> check the counters. You can't get these things online, but you can probably get them on counters. So just in case that you ever see it, this is like a beautiful, um, cool toned, but still warm enough pink blush color. And it's a cream blush, but these Chanel cream blushes are a different breed because they, they're almost like the Makeup Forever ones. They go on, they're extremely pigmented, you don't have to top them, and they kind of blend in and meld with your skin, and they don't have that like super powdery finish, but they also don't have that shiny sheen finish. So I'm so excited that I found inspiration. I got and one too, and that's my first Chanel cream blush. Yes, yeah, so Sarah excited. got one too, and she, and we're just really excited. So we both got this, and thanks to Emily and Hannah for shouting out this blush and basically making me want it, and at the last minute, I'm like, I have to look for this blush. And since they had 
pretty much everything that we were looking for, um, we found it. So the next thing from Chanel that we both got, and I wasn't going to get it, but then Laura swatched it, and it was just a majestical color. It it's was. It's a Chanel lip gloss. It's the Brilliant Extreme Glossomer in 191. I'm not quite sure how you would say that. S-O-N-G-E. Sange. That's not right, but we're going to say that. This is the color because I purchased one too. Were you going to get it out? And yeah, we can. It? I mean, tink. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> but look how pretty. We should zoom in on this one. You can. Okay, so this is like, when I first came to the counter, I was like, hey, can you, do you guys still have the gray gloss? And the lady looked at me and she was like, gray, like don't describe our stuff so blandly. But is that really what she said? She looked at me like that. Okay, this gloss is like a duochrome. Ooh. It's almost like has this like gray, pink, lavender tinge to it. Yeah, it's so beautiful. I think that this color wouldn't be one that I would have picked up. Every single person who's showing the new Chanel line is talking about... <laughs> I can see you, Sarah. <laughs> is talking about this gloss, and they all say that this one is like a winner. So that Chicken is... Dinner. What is it called? Sanji. S-O-N-G-E. S -O -N -G -E. So, um, so I picked up this gloss from Tom Ford and this is ridiculous. It's expensive. It's stupid. And it really is. So dumb. It is so dumb. It's <laughs> an expensive gloss and it's probably dupable, but I wanted it. And I saw Brianna Stanko show this on her channel and she applied it and I was like, come to mama. This is a really beautiful but probably dupable color and it's in the color Naked. And yeah, I just, I went ahead and did it and it's, it's beautiful. It has like little gold and different shimmer flecks in it. The brush is not a doe foot applicator. It's like a little paint oh, on yeah. kind. Yeah. Like a dazzle glass. Kind of, yeah, like a dazzle but glass. But probably much but it's more luxurious. it's extremely <laughs> pigmented. It feels super nice on the lips. And it's a really pretty nude color. that is really color. pretty. It is it's pretty. opaque too. Yeah, it's, it's very opaque and they said that it would be. Um, so that is that color right there. And What's it's, the formula like? It's like really creamy and it's, it's not sticky, but it stays on. So um, I think if you... I don't know, if you're looking to splurge on a really nice gloss, this is a really great one. I do like it, although I am going to say it's one of those things like you almost want to just try it because you want to, but you don't, it's not like I'm recommending it because it's Tom Ford is such an expensive It's not going to change brand. your life. It's not going to change your but life. But here's the deal. I only visit Laura once this every was, five years. This was a spiel <laughs> that she gave me, hashtag twice. <laughs> I give this, In a year. I encourage her if she won something, but she's like, that is ridiculous price. And I'm like, here's the deal, Laura. Here's the bottom, <laughs> bottom line. And she tells this to I fly like, to my Texas. husband if he, like, if we're just trying to set on certain food for the night. She's <laughs> like, I only come once every five years. But let's be real. Like, this, is, twice. this is the third time I've seen visited Laura we've, that we've met up in, in the year. So, mm -hmm. which is great. And I plan on continuing that, that trend. Yes. So... so Basically, I was in town, and I encouraged her to buy it because... Because <laughs> I wanted it. Because she wanted it, and I like to... And I'm glad I, like I got it. to be but, happy. But life-changing, no. But pretty, yes. So... <clears throat> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> or really, it's full lore. Is that my... Blah, 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 blah. That's what I do when I start talking, and then I can't remember what I was going to say, or I jack it up. And, like, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and then I start over. Okay, so we went to Sephora, and we're just going to split up our ne Neiman, and you're, you're going to get to that in a second. But Laura bought me a lipstick because I want to bet, and it needs to be remembered to all, because this one is a stubborn one. Does not like to be wrong, although I don't either, and but I won the bet. Right, but I'm typically right. Let's just say that. But anyway, th we, this could be a whole nother, a whole nother so. I've had two people tell me, you you are right most of the time. And I'm like, don't tell me that. My husband's like, don't tell her that. But I was right. I know. On but, many things But that one happened. time. So this is what I won. <laughs> this is a Marc Jacobs Love Mark. 
Is that what it's called? Love Mark Lip Gel. Mm -hmm. And this was recommended by a subscriber to yes. try out this shade when we were both raving about the Strange Magic. Yes, I love which that. Which Laura made me buy. And I purchased this too. So I bought one for myself and one for Sarah. So that is a beautiful color. That is so Tell pretty. Tell us about it, Sarah. So there is, I want to call it Mary Margaret, but it's Moody Margaret. <laughs> Isn't Mary Margaret like a character on a show? I don't know. My mom had a friend named Mary Margaret. I, sort of, I do know that. M squared. Anyway, there it is. And it almost has like this gray undertone to it. It's almost like a mauvey pink, but it looks browny in here. Yeah. But on your, on your lips, it doesn't. And compared to Strange Magic. Strange Magic is much more peach and much lighter. Yes. If you can believe it. Ooh, say yes to the dress. <laughs> Try and put the cap on actually with the, with the way it goes. So if you guys aren't familiar with the package of these, get familiar because it's get, amazing. Get familiar. <laughs> it is magnetic and it's just luxurious. It's not going to pop open in your purse and make your purse moody Margaret. I love Strange Magic and now I'm so glad that we that we have, not, you have... We now both have. We both have twins, all we twins. And up. that was a like I'm not gonna lie, that lipstick formula is in desperate need of a nude pink, but like a they little need bit more, more pink. More they need more colors. It's not a whole lot, so I kind of always skipped over it because it didn't really look like it was much. But that formula is amazing. I love the formula, and but they need more colors. So Mark Jacobs, even though you're not watching, please create more colors in that lip line. And I got the thousand point perk, and I'm not gonna lie, the one lip gloss is like a little bit brown, but the lipstick is so, so pretty. It's like a Cabernet color. So I'm hoping that that's just like a little whisper of a hint that he's coming out with more colors. So oh, yeah. please, Good Mark, call. whisper to me softly that you're coming <laughs> with more colors because we need it. Because we obviously need more makeup. Laura, are you gonna talk about Armani? I don't know why you're saying it like that. Are you going to talk about our money? Yes. <laughs> Is that the intro? That was my intro. Okay, so Sarah was chatting with people at Bobby Brown and... I was trying to get the scoop on the on some of the products. Yeah. While she was doing that, I kind of checked out for a second and I headed over to the Armani. Now, Which, Ar by the way, I was mad about once I figured out and learned what, what she did. got because oh, I didn't I get it. So good. It's so uh. good. Okay, so Giorgio Armani is a makeup brand I have never tried anything from. And I George. Giorgio. <laughs> and I have heard some people, like, talking about it. Okay, so the first thing that I heard people talking about is this Master Corrector Perfecture in number one. Outside too. Yeah, it's like about to. In case um, y'all were wondering. Storm out. Okay, so this is a peach toned concealer corrector. Not concealer, excuse me, corrector. So this is going to cancel out the dark. So thin too. The dark circles in your eyes. It comes with a very small, thin brush, and I've used this once. It is very, very peach. They do have two different colors, um, but this is the peach toned one, and it's it is very, very peach. Blends in really nicely, and what I do like about it is I only get this one little line of a dark circle, and the brush is so fine oh, that yeah. this is perfect to just go bloop and blend it in and it's going to be that perfect concealing and not using too too much product so that's what i'm going to use it for is that one line right there and you guys i just know what have I'm talking to about. interject and say i bet it's not just a line but it's the optical illusion of where that crevice gets the deepest and yeah. it looks so product like that right there i think goss makeup artist has a video on that of the technique that i'm talking about okay. so y'all mm -hmm. can go search that and yeah, so I purchased that and... Do I need um, it? Bottom line, do I need it? Bottom line, yes, but I do believe NYX might have a similar colored one in their HD concealer. It's orange. I think it is orange and okay. yellow. Or, or, or peach. It is called peach, I think. Okay, so, so recommending that one first before you apply 
apply this. <laughs> Before you purchase this, I recommend that you check out the NYX one because I think this is obviously rather expensive in comparison and that might work perfectly for you um, before you would, or just even see if that color is a good match to you because you only need a little bit. But yeah, so I picked that up and I was really excited. She picked it up off the ground. The next thing from Armani that I grabbed was a blush that one of my friends recommended to me before I went and she told me this. She said, because we're going to be dramatic again, she said if she had to only choose one blush ever, it would be this blush and, and she said it's the color, the formula, the consistency, and the staying power. And I was like, say no more. So it's the, it's called the Sheer Blush Cheek Fabric, Sheer Blush. And it's in the color 502. Cheek fabric? So, That's yeah, cool. cheek fabric. So that is the case. It has like a little um, Giorgio Armani thing or dinger right there. And... That's so pretty. This is the color right here. And mm. can you get a zoom in? Okay, so this is the color right here. It is like this beautiful peachy pink color. I can't even tell you. It's so pigmented. So there is a color right there. It is just, it just looks perfect on your cheeks. It's like a little bit of peach, a little bit of pink. It's super pigmented. I have not fully worn it a day, so I can't say how long it wears. So my friend who is very into makeup, she swears by this color and she says it's perfect and that the formula is perfect as well. So I'm really excited that I picked this up and I can feel your thigh <laughs> sweating on mine. <laughs> I'm a sweaty girl. <laughs> so I'm really excited that um, I could pick this up and um, finally get a chance to try one of the blushes and that way I can I can let you guys know if I recommend it or not or just you know have a wider range of knowledge and yeah for real like serious thigh sweats I don't sweat at all and Sarah sweats a ton like I, I never sweat at all and she sweats she sweats, and so now her sweat is is making me sweat right now. The last now. video we filmed, I had my self tanner was dripping <laughs> down my the back of my calves. Yes, and she was sweating, sweating, sweating all over. I probably had self tan like on half of my <laughs> body after the video. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's just a little side story. Okay, now on to Mac. So Sarah and I picked up few of the same MAC blushes, so do you not want to get yours out and swatch them? Oh, oh that, well usually sh I'm not the swatcher of the group because... <laughs> usually I am, but mine oh, are yeah, in pans, pans and hers are in pots, So this and is, so it's easier for her to swatch. Let's do Prism, which is a matte. I'll show you the comparisons too. And they look the same, but we got Prism and Cubic, and they are matte. So this one is Cubic. It's a satin finish. This is Prism. It's a matte finish. And... They look, well I guess on camera, they look kind of similar. You can definitely see this one is more pink. And then this one is Cubic and this one is Prism. They're both really, really beautiful and like a nice natural blush color. Sarah and I, when we shop together, we're like, basically Sarah, whatever I pick out, Sarah's like, just throw that in my bag too. <laughs> Pretty much, she, I'm a hard sell. Because <laughs> she knows she's going to see me let, like use it and talk about it and love it. And then she's going to be like so cry face emoji over the fact that she didn't get it. <laughs> Just like she's going over that Armani blush that I got. She's so very... Take when we got that. home, she was like, what? <laughs> what? I didn't know you did that. Literally, like, I was like, what? I know. She was like really sad and Debbie's dotted about it. Okay, moving on to Sephora. Um, Sarah only got a few things at Sephora, so I think she's going to show those on her channel, but I'm just going to wrap this up with a few things that I got at Sephora. The rest will be on Sarah's channel, but I have been looking for this NARS blush in Madly That's since so the beginning of time it's the only color that is always sold out online and finally I got to go and fetch it so <laughs> I was like boom boom in like in the tote this was an easy sell this is like it's described as a seashell pink and everybody says that it's so beautiful and that it just it like, looks so boring it though. looks so boring in the pan it really does it looks like nothing even on the swatch it's just not just like you can't even tell the beauty the beauty of it, it is beautiful but i guess it's one of those blushes you need to apply to your cheeks so that's is that the where you color put blush usually uh that's where i put it i mean other people i've been seeing them put it all sorts of places <laughs> these days 
But when you once you apply this to your cheeks, it apparently like livens up the face and it's just that really soft, beautiful color. It's natural. It blends, mm -hmm. yeah, it blends naturally and nice. I'm all about a bright blush. I really am. Um, but I've been purchasing a lot of like more neutral color blushes to really give that like bronzy or like natural look and then playing up different things on my face like my eyes yeah. or my lips. So um, this is a perfect one for someone who's looking for an everyday natural blush color, something that's going to enhance their face but not be too overpowering to their cheeks. So madly it was the one thing that I went straight for when I walked into Sephora. Okay, the next thing I got was from YSL. And this is the, I don't have any of these. These are the Rouge Pure Couture lipsticks. This is a number 13 Le Orange. And I've seen Michelle, what's her name, 1218? I've seen her talk about this lipstick. A ton of people have talked about this color. It's one of those Ugh. Zazoom perfect oranges. Danny from Coffee Break with Danny, here is your next orange <laughs> lipstick. Like, this is an orange lipstick that if you are an orange lipstick lover, you probably need to own. The formula is amazing. The color is extremely pigmented and beautiful. And it looks it's, so good on you, too. Yeah, and it's one of those super easy to... I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's one of those super easy to wear oranges. I love an orange, and personally, you I don't even... You used to not, though. I used to not. It used to be the like, color I was scared yeah. of. But if, even if I didn't look good in it, I don't care what other people say. I always wear, like, what I like. Same with like people are like, she doesn't look good in blue tone lipsticks. And I'm like, thanks for mentioning it, but I really don't care because I like it. It's bottom the same line, thing. wear what makes you feel beautiful. Yes, and that's my bottom line with this orange lipstick, and I love oranges. So if you're an orange lipstick lover like myself, or even if you're experimenting in orange and you really want to get one of those like amazing, I mean, this is a high-end lipstick, but it's, it's, I mean, let's just look at the packaging one more time. Would you? would you just so there it is right there beautiful gold packaging and it's like weighted so it feels heavy and nice and luxurious and it's just a beautiful orange i always like to my theory is i go either two ways when i'm purchasing a high-end lipstick i either go nude and very very wearable because mm. i know i'm going to get a lot of use out of it or I go extremely bright and like Shazam, a color that when you wear it, you always remember when you purchased it because you don't wear it a ton, yeah. but you always remember like when you purchased it. And so now I'm always going to remember it was when Sarah was here, I purchased this orange lipstick and yeah, so it's going to always have good memories attached because I attach good memories to all of my makeup, even if I bought it for no reason. <laughs> it's a great story. Thank you. Are you like spooning me over here? I mean... Do you hear your arm around me? I, I do. It doesn't fit nowhere else. It don't fit nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> so this is where we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. And thank you guys so much for watching. Head over to Sarah's channel, Beauty Buzz Hub, and check out part three. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, uh, we won. We won. Well, this is what I would throw it up. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> go ahead and head over to Sarah's channel, Beauty Buzz Hub, and check out part two of this second haul Epic series haul that we're doing series. and um i will have the lip, the video link below as well as sarah's channel so thank you guys so much for watching and if you saw any products in that haul that you'd like to know more information about or see any looks using any of the products then leave that down below or if you have any favorites or recommendations again we took some recommendations from subscribers yes. comments thank um, you so thank you to all of you who left us some recommendations for our big shopping adventures so <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys. Mwah. My thighs are sticking together. I mean well, like at least I'm not our thighs, it off. not our own thighs. We have Siamese twin thighs right now. <laughs> and one of my thighs is smushed into this chair so hard it's gonna become one with it. Y'all are welcome. <laughs> did you sleep in those shorts? What do you mean? Do they look like I did? Because <laughs> you were wearing them yesterday too. No, I was wearing sweatpants all day today. Didn't you see me? Yeah. And this morning. No, did you? Okay. Laura, I've been wearing the same clothes for like What's four days. What's your Chanel stuff? So. Thanks for watching. See you later.